Get your pencils out because this chapter is all about drawing chemical compounds. In section 8.1, we will learn to draw Lewis symbols, which represent valence electrons as dots around the element symbol. In later sections, we'll draw Lewis structures, which represent the bonding between atoms and molecules. There are three ways that elements can form bonds to other elements. The simplest form of bonding is metallic bonding, which only happens between metals. We'll cover this kind of bonding at the end of the term in section 12.4. When a metal and a nonmetal form a bond, the nonmetal steals electrons from the metal, leading to two charged ions. The ions attract each other and form an ionic bond, which will be covered in the next section, 8.2. But in my opinion, the most interesting and miraculous kind of bonding is the covalent bond. Covalent bonds occur between nonmetal atoms and involve the sharing of electrons. This creates many separate but identical molecules in an infinite number of combinations. Most of chapter eight will be concerned with understanding covalent bonds and drawing molecular structures. Recall from chapter seven that the outermost S and P electrons are called valence electrons. These electrons are the main electrons which determine how an element forms bonds. The number of valence electrons an element contains is indicated by its column number on the periodic table and we'll skip over the D block. Without valence electrons, none of the three kinds of bondings would be possible. Valence electrons are so important that we have a visual way to represent the number of valence electrons around an atom called the Lewis dot structure. In the Lewis dot structure, valence electrons are indicated as dots around the element symbol. When we draw the Lewis dot structure, it doesn't matter which side we start adding dots to. What does matter is that we only start pairing up the dots once we have to. For example, carbon has four valence electrons, so we draw four dots on four sides of carbon's symbol. Nitrogen has one extra valence electron, and because we can't draw an unpaired electron anywhere, we have to pair this electron up with another electron around nitrogen. Each additional valence electron is added to form a pair, meaning that when we get to neon, neon has eight valence electrons distributed amongst four pairs. Because the column of the periodic table indicates how many valence electrons an element has, elements from the same column will have the same Lewis dot structure. We've already seen that having a full valence shell gives an element extra stability as exemplified by the noble gases. Now we can give a name to this phenomenon, the octet rule. The octet rule states that elements will gain, lose, or share electrons until they have eight valence electrons, which corresponds to a full S and P subshell. Okay, time to practice. Draw the Lewis dot structure for these four species. To solve this problem, you have to find the element on the periodic table and give it the number of dots corresponding to its valence electrons, indicated by the column number. Remember, you skip over the transition metals in the D box. Magnesium is in the second column of the table, so it has two valence electrons. We put two dots around magnesium. I put them on the top and the right, but it doesn't matter which side you put them on, top and the bottom, left and the right, left and the bottom. What does matter is that we cannot pair these up. Magnesium ion has a two plus charge, meaning it has lost two valence electrons. The Lewis dot structure for magnesium does not have any dots because we lost those two electrons. However, we do indicate the charge of the ion in the upper right corner. Magnesium ion fulfills the octet rule. Nitrogen is in the fifth column of the table. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, so we draw nitrogen with five dots around it. Two of these dots will be paired and three of them will be unpaired. The nitride ion has a three minus charge, meaning it has three extra electrons compared to nitrogen. We draw a total of eight dots around nitride and indicate the charge with a three minus outside brackets. Nitride ion also fulfills the octet rule. 